Chandrayaan-3, right from the launch to soft landing, everything has gone according to the plan for ISRO, every aspect of it, uh, whether it's uh, insertion into the Earth orbit or uh, translunar insertion or uh, uh, whether it's uh, the deboost uh, operations that were carried out on uh, in, in the moon orbit, all of it has been successful. So what next? Why is it important or significant that ISRO has landed in the South Pole region? Well, for two, three reasons. One, it's unexplored region of moon. No space agency has landed there. So a lot of scientific insights that come in will be path-breaking in many ways. The second is uh, Chandrayaan-1, which was a remote sensing project, had indicated that perhaps there were traces of water in this part of moon. Now the experiments that will be carried out by Chandrayaan-3 perhaps will give some concrete evidence of whether that's true or not, or if there is any gray area there. That's something that will become a little clear by Chandrayaan-3. The third aspect is the presence of rare earth elements. That's something uh, that's uh, of a lot of interest for the scientific community. That's something that will become clear by one of the payloads here, uh, which will look at the chemical composition and the other which will look at the element composition of lunar surface. So these aspects will become very clear and uh, the South Pole region of uh, Loon, uh, the moon will not be any longer called as unexplored and ISRO will be the first one to get a lot of insights from there. And also remember, uh, there are several lunar projects planned for the coming few years, including one, a joint venture with ISRO. Uh, perhaps the insights that will come from here will act as, uh, in a way, a major point for ISRO to take it to the next level. That's one of the main reasons why this is important. We'll keep getting you more insights from Chandrayaan-3 and what comes from the lunar surface. Stay tuned to News 18. Honorable Prime Minister called me and conveyed his greetings to each one of you, you and your family for the wonderful work you did in ISRO. Uh, so thank, uh, thanks are to him for the support that he is giving to us for missions like Chandrayaan-3 and the missions that are in the offing. I think that's a great word of you know, comfort that we are receiving for pursuing the inspirational work that we are doing for the nation. I want to tell you and I want to thank you also for each and everyone who prayed with us in the last many days, uh, who wanted this uh, success to happen in ISRO. I thank all those people in all around the country and <laughs> Mr. Kamalakar, Sri Koteshwar Rao, they have been helping so much. They were part of the team to help them to get the confidence and get the reviews done to ensure that nothing goes uh, with any mistakes. And of course, this is not the work of us alone. And this is an incremental progress and definitely a great, huge one it is. And thank you so much for all the support and work that you have done.